What's up, <clears throat> you fucks? I'm in some weird side street. I'm off of Chinatown. I'm like outside of Chinatown. I'm in this weird kind of industrial district. I went to a place called Little Jewel of New Orleans. I wanted to do, you know, I've been trying to branch out a little bit, go get different food, not just fast food. And uh, so, yeah, it's this this place. My friend Ryan turned me on to it. It's, uh, yeah, it's like a New Orleans food restaurant. I don't know. They, they do a million po' boys and the other stuff. I got hush puppies and I got um, fucking roast beef and fried shrimp po' boys. So let's, let's look at it. I've been here before. I got a blackened chicken po' boy. And it was insane it was really good it was really fucking messy <laughs> look at this absolute brick of meat i can't even see the shrimp they must be underneath oh wait no that looks like a shrimp i mean look at how white it's truly like a brick i don't know how i'm gonna eat this it's truly massive um i don't i don't know what's gonna happen it's gonna be a fucking mess to eat in my car i'll tell you that it's got roast beef, fried shrimp, pickles, cabbage. There's some onions, so there might be a slaw or something. And it's got gravy on it. <laughs> See, this is the food we need. <laughs> Not the food we deserve. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> The roast beef, I don't know, you know, when you think of roast beef, you usually think of like lunch meat, like sliced meat or whatever. It was more like a pot roast. It was good. It was chewy. Like it was it like was really satisfying to eat. I feel like the flavor wasn't super strong of the beef, but the whole thing was slathered in this this rich gravy. Just a classic gravy that had these huge chunks of like carrot and uh, celery and mushrooms and shit, and the gravy was fucking awesome. That's the thing, mostly you get like this, it was mostly like a gravy sandwich, which they have a chip, like they have a, uh, a fries version of the sandwich. That's like a French fry po' boy with the same gravy on it. Man, that would be crazy too. It was so big. If you eat a big beef sandwich that's just plain, it's not gonna be that great. But then if you put like barbecue sauce on it, suddenly it's completely different, right? So with the gravy, it was really good. Um, I don't know. I guess it had been sitting uh, for a little bit because obviously drenched in gravy, but the fried shrimp really sogged up. But still, like the firm kind of, you know, shrimp meat would, would make this really nice, pleasant texture. You know, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, you know, it's kind of a rubbery, chewy, really tight kind of texture for, for shrimp, you know. But like, have and there was not a lot of shrimp. I expected, I expected there to be more shrimp, and maybe less roast beef, probably. But like, finding a shrimp in the thing was like this nice, like pop of of texture. It was this nice change. Um, flavor wise, you know, the shrimp just got covered by the gravy, so it all just tasted kind of gravy like. Um, the pickles were really good. They added a lot of like vinegar and acid. You know, the gravy had a little bit of tang, but like, you know, it's so fatty that having having the acidity, the vinegar of these pickles really kind of popped it up. And the pickles had a nice texture too. The slaw was creamy, but you couldn't get a lot of flavor, but just like the, the really crisp crunch of the cabbage would be good. Like there's a lot of different contrast or uh, textures going on and it kind of kept, kept it, you know, from being too overwhelmed by just by this, this constant, you know, presence of beef and gravy, I guess, right? Um, so it was really good. The bread, uh, was really soft and chewy. It kind of got out of the way and you didn't get a lot of strong bread flavor. I think it's probably because, you know, there's so much flavor and everything else. Just a lot of distinct textures, probably like 12 different textures or something. I don't know. I guess maybe not, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, um, now let's try the hush puppies. Let's see if they've, uh, gotten bad. Not gotten bad. Like if these, let's see if they, you know, sogged up you know i haven't had a lot of hush puppies in my day but they're always something i'm fascinated by bombs away <laughs> so fucking stupid so i'd say the main flavor of the hush puppies is pretty salty um they're made with cornmeal or whatever and they don't taste very corny um 
I think on the outside they had maybe a little bit of seasoning. I couldn't tell you what seasoning, and it might just be salt, honestly. But um, they they definitely had a little bit of herby quality, not basil, but you know these kind of aromatic notes, and um, just really salty, pretty dry. I just and I think they'd be better if they had some sort of dipping sauce, like some sort of like a tangy kind of like spiced mayo kind of aioli, that kind of thing, like some lemon. Definitely some acid would, would perk it up and, and just some liquid or something, you know, to, to, to kind of cut the dryness of it. But not bad. The whole thing was very salty. I like salty stuff a lot and probably more than other people. And so the fact that I'm thinking it's salty means for a lot of people, I think it's probably going to be too salty. But hey, I want to come back here. I don't know if I'll do more videos of this place, but I might. I don't know. But I want to come back and get a bunch more Popoids because I've tried to. This is probably one of the craziest ones they have on the menu. I'd like to try the catfish and uh, the fried shrimp again. They have fried oysters, but that doesn't really seem like my style. And they got all sorts of other shit, too. From from this outing, I don't know. I would say Fourth Works. The Hush Puppies, like, calmed it down a little bit. And I don't think the, I don't think the sandwich is, like, Five Forks. It was just insane. Like, it's just crazy. You know, so maybe the sandwich on its own was four and a half or something. But yeah, definitely check it out if you're ever in LA and you want to check it out. Definitely check it out if you want to check it out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here.